Hello, this is Mike Fauché. Thunderbolt docking stations are not only becoming a nice thing to have, but arguably a necessity if you're using your laptop as a computer. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Orico 12-in-1 Thunderbolt 4 docking station. So if you want to learn more about this thing and see if it's right for you, then stick around for the rest of this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video useful, as it does help support the channel. Full disclosure, Orico did send me this docking station for free, but they haven't paid for or influenced this video in any way. The testing results and opinions are my own. Orico is seeing this video for the first time just as you are. Let's start by going over the hardware and see what comes in the box. You get a 130 watt power supply, a 1 meter or 3.3 foot Thunderbolt 4 cable, instruction manual, and of course the docking station itself. Looking at the front of the docking station, you get a 3.5 millimeter combo jack, a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit per second port, a USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit port, Thunderbolt 4 port for high speed devices or for daisy chaining to others, and a Thunderbolt 4 host port with 85 watts of power delivery and the on and off switch. Looking at the back, you have the power input jack, a display port 1.4 and an HDMI 2.0. The device supports a single display with a resolution of up to 8K30 or two displays with resolutions of 4K60 each. Next, you have a 1 gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 2 Type-A ports for keyboard and mouse, and you have your SD and micro SD slot. The docking station is a Thunderbolt certified device and can support a total of 40 gigabits per socket. As with other Thunderbolt docking stations, some of the bandwidth is reserved for graphics. Now that we've seen the hardware, let's run this through its paces. For testing, I'm using both a MacBook Air and a Windows 11 laptop with Thunderbolt 4. I've connected a Quizlabs high-speed external SSD to the Thunderbolt port on the device, the 1 gig Ethernet connection, an SD card, and an external monitor. As much as I could, I pushed several of these ports simultaneously to see if there would be any degradation. Before we start testing, I did want to point out that whenever testing external storage devices in Windows, make sure you set the properties of the device from the device manager. By default, quick removal is enabled, which is great for flash drives, but with high-speed devices such as SSDs, you want to extract the best performance. You can quadruple your speed by selecting better performance and enabling the right caching. As you can see from this test, I'm able to run a second monitor, push the 1 gig port to the max, and run the external SSD at approximately 3100 megabytes per second of read speeds and about 2937 of write speeds. Switching over to the Mac OS, I get roughly the same performance. When testing the SD slot specifically, it performed as, as expected for this type of reader and achieved about 80 megs per second of read speed and about 75 of write performance. I did a quick test by running Blackmagic's disk speed test and got around 3000 megabytes per second of write speed and 2833 of read speeds. Just to be upfront, all Thunderbolt docking stations share a single 40 gigabit per second port. So if you were to test a high speed SSD that is directly attached to a computer that already pushes the maximum of the bus and then test it again on a docking station, it will be a little bit slower due to port allocations and performance allocations. This happens to all Thunderbolt 4 docking stations and it's not unique to this one. The Orco has performed very well under normal uses and I've had no issues in my day-to-day -day testing. Overall, I'm really impressed with this device. The device itself is exceptionally well built has fantastic performance and comes at a very attractive price. I'll leave a link to the device in the description should you want to pick one up. Anyway, that's about it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.